Welcome to Seth Craft. Behind me here, I have the Millwright Carve King 2 CNC machine. This is a desktop CNC that fits here in a fairly small space on my workbench. Today, I wanna to test out how well this cuts into metal. So I've got an aluminum bar, which I picked up from Lowe's quite a while ago. I also have some bits that are specifically designed to cut into metal. I'm gonna be using easel and it has some presets that is supposed to be designed for aluminum. So let's get our piece measured, put on the CNC, and then head over to the computer, and then we will see how well the Millwright Carve King 2 will cut into this aluminum bar. This does have the Makita router on there, so it has plenty of power. I've got some calipers. Let's see what their thickness is here. We've got three millimeters there, and we've got about 25 millimeters there. And then this way, it doesn't matter. Let's just say something arbitrary like 100. All right, very good. Three millimeters, 25 millimeters, 100 millimeters is our dimensions. Let's go ahead and lock this down. I've got this piece of wood that's gonna be my uh, just sacrificial board so I don't cut into my uh, MDF down here. I'm gonna use these clamps. I got these clamps a while back from uh, Pawn CNC, and they have done really well. They are nice and big and have a good clamping surface. I think this is gonna be strong enough to hold down this piece of aluminum. Yeah, that is nice. Definitely locked down good and tight. All right, this is easel. Let's go ahead and adjust our surface here. Let's say we're gonna be working in aluminum and we've got this, uh, the width here is gonna be, let's say 25 millimeters. The length is 100 and the thickness was three millimeters. All right, and uh, I actually think I wanna get that in the other direction, so Let's go ahead and do this at 25 and this at 100. There we go, that should do it. All right, there's the piece we're working with. So let's go ahead and design something in here. All right, there we go. That's a shape you definitely could not cut out with a drill, so it'll be nice to see this um, here cut out on the CNC. Let's put this down to two millimeters, which means it's not gonna cut all the way through, but at least we'll have us uh, a good idea of how this bit is gonna cut through aluminum. All right, I do have an eighth inch bit here, so that's good. Let's see what our cut settings are. And we wanna make sure that we are definitely set to aluminum. So our feed rate is 127 millimeters. Plunge rate is 76.2 millimeters per minute. Depth is 0.1 millimeter. And uh, this should be fine right here. All right, let's make sure we are prepared. We've got our thickness here is three millimeters. Confirm. We did lock it down. We've definitely got an eighth inch bit. Now let's go ahead and put our machine here on this side by jogging over here. All right, that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna use this as the new position. I'm gonna raise the bit. Now we have to turn the spindle on. Thank <laughs> you. 
I stopped this job a little bit early because it still had 20 minutes left on it and that was just taking quite a while but let's go ahead and pull this out of the clamps and see how well it looks. I think it looks pretty good. It was getting pretty close to the two millimeters I feel like as you can see right in there um, but I think the speed that we were cutting at could have been improved or increased significantly because this uh, router wasn't struggling whatsoever with this aluminum bar here. All right, very cool. I like that a lot. All right, there we have it. The Millwright Carve King 2 desktop CNC machine can cut through aluminum pretty easily. Now, without you, I actually attempted to cut through some uh, copper. <laughs> this metal is a lot more difficult because it burrs. Let me see if I can zoom in pretty close so you can see that. Uh, so there are burrs on the copper and no burrs on the aluminum. Um, but it is able to cut both of these. Um, but I definitely would probably stick with the aluminum with this machine uh, because of its uh, strength here. All right, uh, if you want to check out the Millwright Carve King 2, I will have a link in the description down below to their website. And uh, if I can find the link where I purchased these bits, um, then I will also uh, link those down below as well. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft Workshop, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.